Hey what's up guys this is GK from techpp.com and today we'll be unboxing the Sony Xperia C4 Dual. Let's go straight ahead. So Sony also has been coming up with various categories of phones the M series the C series uh, each one of them having a specific uh, selling proposition like the selfie phones uh, like the water resistance and and different things. So here we have the C4 we'll come to that in a bit. Let's see the other contents of the box. We have uh, the USB cable we have a pair of earphones and we have a lot of paperwork here the startup guide the important information the warranty card and other set of information like the SAR information which customers are really worried about or interested to know especially when it comes to emerging markets like india and then we have the wall adapter so coming back to the phone this is a 5.5 inch uh, ips lcd full hd display uh, packing in as much as 401 ppi and uh, this comes with a scratch resistant screen uh, so overall this has plastic screaming all over it so if you look at the first look th this has so much of padding at the top here and again at the bottom kind of looks awkward when it's not you know you know equal in spacing but um, that's what it is so this is powered by mt6752 octa core uh, mediatek processor clocking at 1.7 gigahertz accompanied by a mali t760 uh, gpu and uh, this competes with the snapdragon 615 uh, uh, 64 bit uh, octa core processor but in terms of the benchmarks and performance it, it's supposed to perform much better and uh, overall the phone comes light though it is uh, uh, at, at 5.5 inch uh, screen on the right here we have the power rocker uh, we also have uh, the camera button here a dedicated camera button and also uh, the volume rocker here and uh, on the top you have uh, the 3.5 mm jack and on to the right you have the charging port which is ra rather awkward usually it's at the top or the bottom but that's what it is on the back, uh, we have the 13 megapixel camera with the uh, LED flash. We have the Sony branding here and also the Xperia branding. <clears throat> this is uh, a 16 GB variant and it has uh, two gigs of RAM that can uh, and, and also the memory can be expanded up to 128 GB via a micro SD slot that comes here. So this is again a dual SIM phone and both of them uh, can support 4G, uh, dual 4G nano SIMs. So in terms of the software, um, this supports, uh, and this is built off the Android uh, Lollipop 5.0 with, uh, with the Sony skin that comes on top of it. So that looks to be a really thick skin, as awkward as the, the, front, uh, the, the front looks of the phone. We have some icons here, again, really looking awkward, not aesthetically appealing, but that's what it is. Um, though this is a full HD screen that packs 401 PPI, um, it doesn't come off as good as other phones that pack in 401 PPI, but uh, we'll have to test that out. It's probably the brightness. Nope, it's not the brightness also. So there are no physical buttons here. Um, we have the on-screen uh, navigate but navigate navigation buttons here. So let's look at uh, the software and also the storage that is available for the user. So this is built off uh, Lollipop Fire Auto. And the storage, the user has somewhere close to 9.36 GB though the available uh, total space is 16 GB yes that's because of the thick skinned uh, Android OS that we have here so powering the C4 is the 2600 mAh battery but that cannot be removed Sony claims that um, it does last long with some software optimization that they've done but the key selling proposition for this phone is the 5 megapixel camera here that comes with a dedicated flash so we'll be testing that out uh, that, that as well in our detailed review in terms of the pricing this is priced at a retail price of 29,490 um, on the box but um, on Flipkart and uh, you know some of the uh, websites this can be fetched at somewhere around 22,000 or 23,000 depending on the color that you might choose 
and um, that's what it is so when you compare this phone with other uh, uh, competitors that come around this like the the HTC phones and things like that comes off as pricey but we'll have to see in our detailed review does it really stick up um, or is it really worth the price that um, they're quoting for it and is the selfie camera really great that that it uh, is a com- that it's making a compelling case for the price tag that is being offered at so we'll be back with the detailed review until the next one this is gk from techpp.com signing off do hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting happenings on the gadget world thank you